And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Triple A baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Durham Bulls going up against the Nashville Sounds. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And on the mound today, Thomas Jenkins. What do you have on him? He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. So just about set. Now it's the right fielder, Ryan Bolt. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Righty to the plate. And another ball. And foul ball. That smash towards center. Davis makes the grab. One up, one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here. So not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Nope. Next pitch is downstairs. Right-hander kicks deals. On the ground. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. Batting third. The second baseman. Vidal. Bruhan. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. No score just getting started top of the first. Next pitch has popped up. Brings it in for the third out. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Bottom of the first. Today's starting pitcher, Aaron Sleggers. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. We go to the bottom of the first, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Jonathan Davis. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. And the righty deals. One gone, bottom half of the first. And let's take a look at the lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker ball that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does, and you're tied up. 
Slow roller to first. On the run, throw to first. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Two outs, base is empty. Down the third baseman, Michael Brasso. The wind and the pitch. So now one and two. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Well struck left field. That one is gone. He sends a rocket to left. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. So many times the sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But that time he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through it. Keston here up to hit now. The 1-1. One, one. And that one missing low. The 2-1. That one missed. Three two now. Three balls, two strikes. And he grounds one back up the middle. That's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Sal Fraley. And a 1-1. Here's the strike. Ground ball left side. They get the force, and that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1 0. New inning getting started, and now Josh Lowe. Here's a 1 1. That clips the corner. I got to get one and two. This one smacked out to left center. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And next is the designated hitter, Ruben Cardenas. At the belt and fires. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Now 
next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground, right side. Gira collects it. Tosses the first, one out in the second. That is it. The catcher for Proctor. And here's the catcher, Ford Proctor. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Left hand batter waits. And he pumps it a strike. Righty delivers. Line and a base hit into right. The tying run is in to score from third. It's 1-1. Picks himself up in RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And here's the first baseman, number 62. Next pitch has popped up. Brasso puts the squeeze on that one, and there's two down. Batting it, the shortstop, Tristan Gray. Now here is Tristan Gray. Runner, runner, runner. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Ball. There's a ball. And safe. Stay. It's a stolen base. And that one fouled off. That misses the zone, and the count's full. Runner at second, two down. Three, two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. into center Davis racing over to make the catch but the RBI single pushes across a run all even at one apiece bottom half of inning number two and now Abraham Almonte And a count one and two. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Garrett Mitchell will hit next. And a foul ball. And one away. So digging in, number 46. Number 46. 
awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. Next pitch inside, two and two. Almonte, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering misses, ball three. Kicks and fires. That one lifted to left. Tracks it down for the out. That's out number two. Batting none. The catcher. Mario. Here's Mario Feliciano. Looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone. And that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. That's out to center field. Low. Moving under it. He's got it. And that is that. We play two full innings and we're tied 1-1. Top half of the third inning. Now the left fielder, number four. Here's a 1-1. One -one. He swings and fouls one off. And now it's one and two. Count. Two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Two away down. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Cooper Kinney. The 2 1. That one down the line, and that's just foul. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. This one popped up. Terang settles underneath it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Home half of the third coming up. Tied at one. Back here in Milwaukee, now batting Jonathan Davis. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Hit weakly on the ground. He caught it behind his back. And they get the out. Now batting. The shortstop. Bryce. So this is Bryce Terang. One down, base is empty. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Perfect. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer now at it. Batting. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now batting Michael Brasso. Terang, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Now 
Nope. Next offering is downstairs. Here comes a pitch. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. And the 2 2. That's down and in. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Now moves to first. Terrain back on a dive. Tied up here in the early going. And here it comes. Ground ball right side could be two. Ruhan to second on the first double play. And that's the inning. Three innings complete. All tied 1-1. One, one. And welcome back. On to the fourth. Now at the plate, Vidal Bruhan. And the next pitch is way outside. Kicks and deals. In the air, left side. Fralick makes his way towards it. Dives and makes the catch. And wow, what a great diving catch, Singy. StatCast says that was a near perfect route, and it had to be. But that's just a big part of his game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays. And right there, he's done it again. Josh Lowe, the next to hit. And there's ball four. And the batter now, Ruben Cardenas. over for one so far. The next pitch misses two and one. Double play ball to second. Off balance feed. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And yeah, the batter now, Ford Proctor. And a pitch. Stays alive. And a pitch. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Now a screamer into the outfield, and there's a hit. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Go ahead, run on base. And now the first baseman, number 62. And the pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Two on, two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 
pitch. And that's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 2-1. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tristan Gray. And the right-hander deals. That one fouled off. Two and two. Number 65 at second. Number 62 on at first with two down. And it's filled up. Movement in the bullpen. Angel Perdomo getting ready to go. Lifted in the air, right center field. Almonte on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Bottom of the inning. Here's Castillera. Out towards right center field. Bolts under it. And there's one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass. And uh, obviously, he's not a big strikeout guy. But he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Next to hit, Sal Fralick. Left-hand hitter waits. No, that's down. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, the tag, and they cut him down, going for two. Got to love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Abraham Almonte. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Proctor settles under it, puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll do it. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Angel Perdomo, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper next offering is fouled back the wind of the pitch and down on strikes he goes and one gone just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. So up next, Ryan Bolt. The next offering misses. And a count to and one. The pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's two and two. The pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. 2-2 two -two now. 
squibbed out in front of the play. Fires over to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Cooper Kinney digs in now. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one not close. And it's two and one. The why to kick the pitch. Top of the zone for a strike. And now two and two. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And he deals. Hey. The count is one and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Third out, and that ends the frame. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's a speed threat. Garrett Mitchell. And a pitch. This to third. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Number 46, getting ready to hit. And that one fouled off. Here's a one two. And now it's filled up. And a payoff pitch. That one the other way. Now the throw to first on the run. Oh. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Now batting. Catcher. Mario. Feliciano. Here's the catcher to hit. Mario Feliciano. He's 0 for 1. The count two and one. Three balls, one strike. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Line drive. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's the center fielder, Jonathan Davis.
That's Next one misses, and that's ball two. Feliciano off of first with two away. That's a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. Out to short. They take the force out. That ends the inning. Back here at American Family Field. Top of the sixth inning. And now the center fielder, Josh Lowe. Ball to strike. Foul ball there. One and two here. And there's a ball. Next pitch misses. And a full count now. That one hooked foul. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. The wind and the pitch. That one pulled foul. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. The 3 1. There's a strike. 3 1 count, saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get me over breaking ball. Bring the count full. Pickoff throw, and he's back in easily. Towards first, into the outfield, base hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. Now that I love that swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took a pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit. And that's easier said than done. Now it's going to be Ford Proctor. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Well, anytime you launch one foul that has the distance, it's tough to reset for the rest of the at-bat. He's going to have to do it here. You know, that changeup. Didn't fool him by much, but it did its job and had him out front. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Digging in, number 62. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Two on, one out. And yeah, that's outside.
Line drive, base hit right field. Low, around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 3-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now the shortstop, Tristan Gray. Lifted in the air out to left. Fralick drifts towards it. He's got it. There's two away. The batter, number four. Here's the left fielder, number four. The oh, bottom of the order here, Boogie. Got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run. And the number nine guy at the plate. The 1-1. One -one. Upstairs. Yeah, there's the strike. At the belt and fires. Good eye in that spot. That's a really good take. So now three and two. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Terrain over to first in time. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Dustin Knight on the pitch here, trying to protect this lead. Number 76, Dustin Knight. Here's the third baseman, Michael Brasso. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. So here's the cleanup hitter, Keston Hira. Runner at first with no outs here. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The punch out there. One away. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Next to hit, Sal Fraley. Swings and misses. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough. And... Played right into the hands of the pitcher. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Abraham Almonte. Brasso, the runner at first with two gone. In the air to left center, number four makes a move towards the gap. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that is that. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, number 73. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Back 
back here in Milwaukee and now the right fielder Ryan Bolt. And the righty deals. And a ball evens the count. The 2-2 two -two now. Four count. Three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Cooper Kinney will hit next. Kicks and fires. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Davis racing over to make the catch. The batter number seven. Second baseman. Vidal Brujan. Now it's the second baseman. Vidal Brujan. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Zach Brown getting loose out there. Two, two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Davis makes the catch, and that'll do it. Sean Armstrong into the game. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Sean Armstrong. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Garrett Mitchell. The 1-1. One, one. And that one wrapped foul. Swing and he breaks his back. And he'll pull into second safely. Oh, he just tried to force a play that wasn't there. Ends up a single and a throwing error. So now they have to deal with a runner in scoring position. You know, good communication on the field can make a big difference on a play like that. And now it's going to be number 46. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Gets down. Base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. So digging in, Mario Feliciano. Hard ground ball base now. In to score from third. And it's a one-run game. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And now, Jonathan Davis. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. And a count one and two. 
You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. That one to first, and it gets by him. Bolt fires it to the plate, and he's safe. Tie ball game. Back even, it's 3-3. Three, three. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. JT Shagwa gets the ball now. Number 84, JT Shagwa. And now here is Bryce Terang. A little roller up along first. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, now kill some worms while you're at it. Baseman, now the third baseman, Michael Brasso. One for two. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. The pitch. Foul ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Keston Hira. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. In situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is down low. Feliciano on third. Terang over at second. Brasso at first. One gone. And he hits a ground ball right side. Base hit. One run is in. Runner at third. Puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded. And still only one away. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. On the ground, a second might be two. Good feed. That's one. But not in time. And first, he's safe. The inning is still alive, and the run scores. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning-ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Now, Abraham Almonte. Next offering is fouled back. Runners on first and third, two away. And that one is lifted in the air low as he glides to his left. Brings it in, and that is that. Nine men come to the plate for score. Now on the bump, Luke Barker. This is his first appearance of the season. 
Parker. And welcome back. We're at the top of the eighth. Leading off, Josh Lowe. Left hand batter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Ground ball up the middle. Terang gloves it, whips it to first on the run. Safe. Ruben Cardenas, the next to hit, one for three. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Ford Proctor now at the plate. The one two off the outside edge and now the count is two and two 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 down and a foul ball with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here Riding to the plate. Fly ball down the line. Almonte towards the line. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So two down now, and here is number 62. Low, off of first with two away. Check on the runner, and he's back safely. And a 2 1 on the way. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, try to get into scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Peter Fairbanks. Peter Fairbanks. Back here at the ballpark, and here is Garrett Mitchell. Next pitch is outside. And a swing and a miss there. Bringing the cheese on that one. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 46. Right-handed reliever. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. That's the third, and it's through for a hit. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Stepping in, Mario Feliciano. Next offering misses. Now three and one. Righty delivers, and ball four, two aboard. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And now Jonathan Davis. Kicks and deals. That one missing inside. One out, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Tapped softly on the ground. There's one. Back to first, not in time. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they got runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. And now, Bryce Terang. And the pitch. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Oh, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. So up next, Michael Brasso. Base knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a shot, and a knock here would be a big blow. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. That is the inning. Now, and on the mound, the closer, Justin Topa. Number 56. So digging in, number 62. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And that ball is gone. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they cut into the deficit. It's 5-4. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. So up next, Tristan Gray. The tying run at the plate. And a count one and two. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball. And then you swing and you miss. Can't field it cleanly, but plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. Now it's the right fielder, Ryan Bolt. T 
two outs. And fouled off. Next pitch is outside. The count now two and two. Bounce to the left side. Terang picks it up. And he beats the throw. He's safe. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. So two down now, and here is Cooper Kinney. And the pitch. And that's outside. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And here it comes. Good eye right there. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Boots to first. Oh, he throws it away. You've got to move your feet as footwork is so important on those pickoff throws over to first and can be a little easy to get twisted up and throw across your body and he didn't have much of a lead over there at all so I doubt he was trying to do anything more than just keep him honest which makes that error hurt even more. Up the middle, dives but it's off his glove. He doesn't have a play and he reaches safely. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. And now looking for a great two-out at bat to tie it up. Probably going to take another base hit, though. Here's the second baseman, Vidal Brujan. Here's a 1-1. And another ball. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And that one is lifted in the air. Back there. Turning and looking and it's gone. He'll circle the bases and now they're out in front. It's 7-5. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jake Cousins. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Lowe. Next pitch is downstairs. We got two balls, one strike. Left hand hitter waits. Now this is in the air down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's 7 5. Nick Anderson in.
This is his third time out this year. Back here at American Family Field. Bottom nine. Now it's the second baseman, Keston Hira. Next offering is in for a strike. Anderson ready to work. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is in the dirt. Ball two. At the belt and fires. Got him looking. And now one away. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Sal Fraley. Not even close there. Counts full three and two. The pitch popped up. Grabs it on the run. And there are two down. Now batting the right fielder, Abraham Almonte. So digging in, Abraham Almonte. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, all game, these guys had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down, and were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well-executed ball game. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bulls. Seven runs, 11 hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For the Sounds, five runs, 12 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 32 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.